Hey guys, what's up? Got a short video for you on arm weight, primarily with the right arm. This is the arm, and this is actually the technique that I struggle with most. You see, when I have a new piece of music to learn, um, whether it's something I'm coming up with, or something that I'm reading like a concerto, or a sonata, or a solo, or a suite, whatever it might be, I tend to want to rush into the what my goal actually would be. So if my goal is to play at this BPM, I'm pushing myself to get there. and you know, playing an instrument is not like a sport. In a sport, giving maximum uh, effort and a lot of times will yield a result that you might find very favorable. But with an instrument, you really can't force an instrument to give you the result that you want. In fact, um, the slower and the more quality of the time that you spend building up techniques, the better it's gonna be. So this is something that you should not rush. In fact, it very well be something that you'll have to work on just as I'm still working on. So what exactly I'm talking about is how to utilize arm weight for fluid bow movement, also for releasing of tension so you can play longer, and for allowing your body to play to its fullest potential. Okay, so let me sh uh, demonstrate to you exactly what the technique is. So it just looked like I did a scale just then, but in reality what I was showing you, you should have seen a lot of looseness in the wrist, you should have seen a low shoulder, and you should have seen bow control as I tapered off the note, right? Now let me demonstrate to you what that would sound like if I raised my shoulder, if I locked my wrist, and I brought in my fingers too close. It might sound something like this. And so that's exaggeration in a lot of ways someone can learn how to play like that and sound better than I just did but when you grab onto a technique that isn't serving you of course you can build on it but it'll only take you so far so if you're used to playing with all of or even one of the factors that I just described to you either a heightened shoulder or a stiff wrist or fingers that are a little bit too far up on the bow even if you have one of those problems, this will uh, take you back a little bit in your progress, but ultimately you'll be able to go forward far, far, much more forward than you actually would if you continue to hold on to your technique. So let me show you uh, how we can begin to build up to a loose uh, right arm. So the first thing is, is you want your right arm shoulder to be as low as possible. In fact, what a lot of people don't realize is we hold tension, especially around our neck. Like for me, stress tends to compound in the stomach for me. I'm always wanting to do this. So I have to remember to open up and breathe, right? A lot of people deal with tension in many different ways. And a lot of people hold it up here in their uh, shoulders. Um, if you look at an animal that's stressed out, dog, cat, um, even a, a, a cobra snake, right? They all have these neurotic holding patterns when they are stressed out. You know what I mean? A cobra will open up its hood, uh, a, a, a cat will do this, a dog will tuck its tail and uh, become kyphotic in the shoulders. Stress and tension compounds and causes your body to do things on its own, right? And so even if you're not necessarily stressed, uh, but you don't have a an understanding of what stress does to the body, you might not have that had actually release that stress you might even be holding too much stress in your shoulders so do your best to drop your shoulders as low as you can and you'll have to work at it I know that was kind of weird to go over all that stuff but if you're not used to relieving your stress you might actually need to uh, continue to work on this outside of the instrument but you always want your shoulder to be low in fact as you do this you might even see your shoulder creep up it's normal right it's a biological thing um, but once you understand that that's something that you might need to work on what you'll do then if you pick up the bow, and I like to do something called T-Rex wrist, that's where the wrist is loose and supple, right? You never want your wrist to be too tight and too parallel. What you wanna do is you then allow your fingers to come like so. You don't want it to be too far up. Too far up, a lot of people will tend to uh, lock their wrist uh, and keep the bow hair, in order to keep the bow hair flat, right? But we want 
the wrist to be loose and the fingers to be extended because you want to be able to do this. You want everything in the hand loose and you want your wrist loose especially. Anyways, as you place the bow on the instrument and the wrist is loose, as you pull, you'll find that your wrist will bend to continue the facilitation of arm weight, right? So let me go over that scale again. Right? So my wrist allows a constant stream of arm weight to enter then into the bow. And as I approach the tip, the leverage of my arm weight actually allows the bow to stay fixated to the string. This is another sign that you are using good arm weight, is if when you're playing, you're able to lift up on the tip of your bow when you're playing at the tip and the bow actually comes down. A good indication that you're not using arm weight is if you pick up the bow and the whole thing just kind of comes up like that. That means that you're still pushing. Muscle, muscle doesn't operate at the same standard as gravity. Gravity is constant. It's always going down. Muscles are constantly being controlled either by you intentionally or not intentionally. So you might confuse arm weight for muscle, but this is a great test. If you lift up on the bow, you're using gravity, you're using arm weight, you're taking your muscles out of the equation. If you lift up on the bow and the arm comes up like it's nothing, you're still using arm weight, or you're still using muscles. So anyways, hopefully that was helpful. I'll have more information in the future about um, ways you can actually relieve your tension and allow further facilitation of arm weight and future videos to come. So have a great day. Thanks for watching.